You've been asking for it, now we are delivering it. The first full in-depth hands-on review, or all access, of the Sonic Access range. Hello there Carpologists, I'm Joe and today as I just said we're going to be taking a look at the full access range. Now in front of me or to my left is the access bivvy, over there is the access shelter and the only one I don't have with me today is the access brolly. But I will go through each and every one, what they have to offer and also I've got the wrap just behind me as well which I used last night. Now myself and Luke have been wanting to get our hands on these ever since our trip to Czech Republic last year. Link is in the description below because that was where Sonic held their trade show. We also got a bit of fishing in on there and had some lovely commons. So if you haven't seen that, click the link below, go and have a look at these and all the rest of the range. But today is going to be much more in depth on these and we've wanted to get our hands on these for a long time because these were the standout products and this one is actually my new personal baby that's how much i like them and i'm glad i've got my hands on it because i can go through all of them now and the reasons why i chose it to be my new uh, personal baby but also it's just packs so much in to a great reasonable price as with always with sonic you get a lot for your money now firstly setup that's one of the biggest questions that we've been seeing on social media and on sonic social media page is how quick do these set up and i'll get onto an exact figure later on because i timed myself setting up the uh, shelter just over there but very quick is what you need to know sub one minute so i'll get onto that a bit more in a second so it's very quick to put up the principle is very simple put the main rib frames together all the poles and you fan it round pull the front round and put it all into this central hub block in a minute. Now all the shelters feature the same frame, so it doesn't matter what one you go for, they're all the same shape, sort of uh, layout, the footprint, the height, everything is exactly the same in that respect. Now the poles are made of a lightweight 6061 aluminium and they're anti-twist. So that anti-twist comes into effect when you put the poles together. There's only one way they'll fit in. Because they've got a slightly flat edge to one side and they're rounded everywhere else, they'll only go in one way. So once they're in, there's no way of them twisting. It gives the frame much more rigidity. Wrapped around the poles is 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head cloud base fabrics so it's nice and thick material cuts out a lot of the light and i was pouring buckets of water on this and as you can see from the clips it just drains straight off that and on the front you've got a rain gutter guard so the rain will just pour down the sides and drain away from the front so it's not going to drip over the front at any point as you can see with me stood next to it the shelter goes up fairly quickly at the back and then straight forward that's because the flat back design allows you to push your bed chair all the way to the back with doing that you still need the headroom so that's why it goes up fairly quickly at the back and then round so i can still sit on my bed chair right in the center right at the back of the bed chair and not have my head touching the roof and still see perfectly good out over the lake without crouching and hunching down so it maximizes the internal space without taking up too much of an exterior footprint before i move on if you like this sort of content the reviews in sessions and all the different things we put up on youtube make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell so you don't miss another upload and also follow us on facebook and instagram where there's content going up every single day moving on to the front because there's lots to talk about starting off with the peak now this is an extremely large peak that's one of the first things i noticed about this when we first saw them so when you've got this letterbox style on the uh, front you still got so much protection that you can see out if it's driving rain even if it's very aggressive rain you'll still be able to see out because that gives you so much protection the peak is very sturdy because it comes supplied with these storm poles you also pull these tension straps just to pull it all tight to make sure that the rain will just bounce off there's no sagging points and it just gives it a nice rigidity and even when it's been pretty blustery this session it's been solid as a rock moving on to the door as you can see at the moment i've got it all as a completely solid front now this can zip in and out if you want so if you didn't want this on here you just wanted to strip it back to an open fronted shelter that comes off in next to no time but the door itself you've got a solid green panel if you peel that up you've then got clear pvc and then underneath that you've got the mozzie mesh panel as well so each one of those can be rolled up individually or you can have the door zip down slightly letterbox style or rolled all the way up in an open fronted door you can then open up the side vents as well underneath here you've got zips and then mozzie mesh vents once again so you can have a full mozzie mesh front if you want once the door is rolled up you can also roll the sides back so if you don't want to zip the front off but you do want to have it open you can do so like i said you can also take the door off so door on door off clear view full mozzy solid it's completely up to you and on the inside of the door on the uh, mozzy mesh vents on the front you've also got these pockets for valuables as well so a very versatile front moving around to the back we have two very large mozzy mesh vents held in place by velcro so if you want you can fully remove them or roll them up sorry and toggle them at the top and have them as fully open vents but if you still want some airflow but it's raining you've then got these little spacers so they just pull out like the toe attach it to the velcro there's two for each window 
Put one there, one there, and it holds the vent open, but still lets rain run over the top. So you've still got that airflow. If it's a really hot, sticky day, but it keeps raining, do that and you've still got the airflow. And lastly, on the front, we have Velcro rod retaining straps on either side. And that's pretty much everything in a nutshell. And this weighs in at just 9.2 kilos. So all of this protection, the size of the shelter as well, for sub 10 kilos is pretty impressive. That includes the two 48 inch storm poles, the full bivy itself, of course, the front infill panel, ground sheet, the pegs, and the spacer bars for the rear vents. All that for less than 10 kilos is very impressive. And it all fits down in an oversized carry bag, which actually has some tension straps to weight it down so it's easy to get it in, but then you can whittle down the bag so it's not going to take up too much space as well. Now that the front's off, you can see a bit more of the inside shape. And as I was mentioning earlier, the fact that I can push the bed chair all the way to the back and maximise the space in front of me. Because of that flat back design, the back of the bed chair, I've left a little bit of a gap just so it's not touching the material, but there's still plenty of room. So that's fit perfectly, no wasted space fit in there snug. This is a standard size bed chair, but if you wanted to go for a wide bed chair, again, it would just come forward a bit more. It'd still fit in absolutely perfect. And stacks of room in front of me, that's my legs fully extended out, sat on the bed chair, and I'm not at the edge of the ground sheet. Now, I don't have the uh, front panel on at the moment, as I just mentioned, but you can see where it was and where the uh, poles go down is where the wrap goes. I'll talk about the wrap a bit more later on. I used that last night. Now, despite the fact that the bed chair is all the way to the rear of the bivvy, I'm still able to sit upright, which is a massive plus point. This is actually my personal bivvy now because I want to get my hands on one of these as soon as I could. So I put an order in myself because I got to see these firsthand out in Czech Republic. And at the time I was starting to suffer a bit with bad back with my personal bivvy because I was constantly crouching down although it it was quick to put up and things it just didn't offer me enough space for the amount of time I'm on the bank so when I saw this how quick it was to set up the amount of protection you get and the fact I could sit on my bed chair upright see all the the uh, lake in front of me it was a no-brainer it's got all the things that tick all the boxes that I wanted for a quick setup a good back and easy to get in and out with still lots of protection and at the back of the shelter, we've got the mesh fence that I've talked about on the outside. But on the inside, they've got some pockets built in with the same mesh material so the air still breathes through it. You can put your phone, your keys, whatever you want to put in there, keep them nice and safe. Now the ground sheet is heavy duty and extremely quick and easy to put in and out. We've just got five buckle points, one at the rear, one at each back corner and one at each front corner and then you're sorted. Now there's also pegging points at the front so you can put them in and matches up with the front infill panel. At the moment I don't have the infill panel on as you can see but I'm still using the pegging points. That's just so it keeps the ground sheet down but they're far enough apart that you're not going to stub your toe in the night if you choose to keep the pegs in because some bivvies can have them pegs way too close together and you end up smashing your toes when you're running out of the bivvy. So they're far enough apart to keep them in, keep the ground sheet down even when you don't have the infill panel in place. Next up, we have the Access Shelter. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth with all this because it's got pretty much all the same features as the Access Bivy does, minus a couple of things. So this doesn't come with the front infill panel or the ground sheet, but those are things you can purchase at a later date to upgrade this to the full system because it does have the zip already there ready to receive an infill panel. So that's pretty much everything you get, but this is much more lightweight and maybe it's for those of you that don't always use the front, I want a, a lighter system because it's very quick to set up because I just timed myself and it took me 45 seconds pretty much to get it to freestanding, which I think you'll all agree is very impressive. Freestanding under a minute is a very quick shelter. Obviously then it took a little bit longer to put the pegs out and the storm poles which come with it, but you're then absolutely sorted. Now there is also the access rolly, which is even more stripped back than what I've got with me today. I don't have it with me, but the difference being is that it's now 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic hair, so it's slightly thinner, makes it more lightweight. You don't come with the vents or the ground sheet and you can't put the infill panel on. So it is a real stripped back, day session type shelter which still has this same shape it's still the same frame and everything so protection wise is almost identical but it's a little bit lighter and just for those more mobile anglers but moving on to the wrap in a second if you want to upscale it from just a day shelter and then do some nights in it obviously you can with the use of the wrap and lastly we have the access wrap another one of sonic's party pieces is because all of the shelters in the access range are centered around the same hub system same frame this will fit on all three of them. So whether you get the brolly, the shelter, or the access bivvy, this will fit on it perfectly. So if you chose to go down the brolly route, have a nice lightweight shelter for day sessions and things, but you want to do the odd 24 hour session, get the wrap and you can chuck it on there no problem. But you don't have to have a more weighty shelter the rest of the year. But again, if you want to get the uh, shelter or the full bivvy like I've got today, again, it will just fit on no problem, which is a great aspect to have because it doesn't matter which one you go for, you know this is gonna fit. You'd have to buy a dedicated wrap for each one. 
Now the material on this is 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head, the same cloud base material that's used on the bivy and the shelter. And I did the night, got down to about two or three degrees last night and zero condensation in there. I've, I've used twin skins before where you still get some through, but this material really is very, very waterproof. It rained a lot last night, as you can see, it's still wet on the top, but zero condensation, zero moisture on the inside. And uh, again, as I said, it rained last night, I had the door about halfway down, it's a two-way door on this thing, and the rain didn't ingress, because I'm so far back as well with the flat back design, I was well away from any kind of rain ingress that could have potentially happened. On the sides, you've got rod retainer straps. You can also have a full sort of versatility with the front of the door. At the moment, I've got the door wound all the way up and clipped at the top, or you can have it reversed and have it sort of letterbox style. You can pull the sides completely out so you have to take the pegs out and have it an open fronted shelter in the day. And on the front you've got a solid panel, PVC and mozzie mesh. So pretty much all the same features that you get on the door of the bivy itself as well. And that is pretty much the wrap in a hole. Another big advantage of having the wrap on is it gives you more space on the inside. Because you've got the large peak on the shelters themselves, it just drops down from the front there. It gives you probably an extra foot of space on the front. So I've taken the infill panel off the bivy to give me that extra space. But if you wanted to keep your infill panel on, or the front panel of the bivy, and then put the wrap on, obviously you've got dual skin all the way through. But I took my infill panel off just so I've got that extra space and no issues, even when it did rain last night. And lastly, and one of the best things about this, as always with Sonic, is the price, because they stand for value for money and looking after anglers that perhaps maybe on a bit more of a budget, but don't want to cut corners on the quality. So starting off with the Access Bivy, this is the one that I've opted for, all bells and whistles, everything included, just $269.99, which I think you'll agree is exceptional value for money, especially if you pit this up against other market brands which have offered similar sort of things, but probably twice or maybe even three times the price. They really are great value for money. If you're still not convinced by this, try and get to a show or something, get hands on, and I'm sure once you see this, you'll be just as impressed as me and Luke were when we first saw it out in uh, Czech Republic. And just over my shoulder, you've got the access shelter and that one comes in at 179.99 remember that one doesn't include the infill panel or the ground sheet but you can buy those items at a later date because it comes with the zip ready for the infill panel if you want to upgrade to the full system and then lastly you've got the brolly that's the whittle down version the 5000 millimeter hydrostatic head doesn't have the vents and the ground sheet and things and that one comes in at just 129.99 but don't worry if you go for any of those and you still want a second skin you just have to get the wrap at 129.99 it covers all three of these systems so even if you go for the the lightweight brolly system just for day sessions but want to use that for overnight or twin skin it get the wrap and it sticks on no problems so for more information on all of these items please head over to the sonic website don't forget to subscribe and follow us on facebook and instagram as well cheers for watching and see you again soon